going to try to use this camera that I have uh, to show you us driving. So here we go. Um, my brother was driving this thing last. Let me adjust my steering wheel and all that good stuff. All right. So if you can see the cabin is relatively quiet. Um, one of the things about driving this car is that everybody kind of seems on my shoulder a little bit. It's not like we're spaced out. So I could literally, if y'all can see, I could literally turn around and touch the people in the back seat. I mean, this is how close they are. So again, the pro to that is when we're traveling and it's just me by myself, I'm able to get my snacks and hand them out really easy. Um, it's not like they're so far away that I can't reach them to hand them snacks. So, um, waving to the neighbors. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so, basically I'm driving, I can reach hand snacks out or whatever uh, without any problems. The downside to that is I feel like they're right on my, my neck. And so you, you know, in the front seat, you're trying to have a private conversation with your spouse or whoever's in the car. The people in the second row pretty much could hear uh, whatever you're talking about. We installed a TV, I think I said that aftermarket. So that has been helpful with um, keeping the kids occupied um, in this car. So you could hear, I don't know if you guys could hear that, but you could hear that, you know, V8 engine. You can kind of hear it. I'm going to try and kind of do some turns and things so maybe you can see how the kids handle. I will say, um, driving this the baby you know how normally you can put your baby in the car and they will um, fall asleep I think with this being a V8 engine and it, and it you know you could hear the power the baby doesn't really sleep that well um, in this truck and I never noticed that until I got the transit and saw the difference in it so um, that could just be my baby he just prefers a smooth ride but um, definitely doesn't sleep as great. So the Nissan MD is a big boy, but it gets zero to 60. I believe they said, um, I wanna say in six seconds or something. Um, I mean, I don't know if that matters to, to you or not, but it does, I don't know if it's six seconds or 10 seconds. I will have to check and I will make sure that I put that. But me driving it, I feel like I can merge onto the highway pretty quickly and I will get on the highway so you guys can see that. I don't know if how many seconds it takes me, but I, there's no um, delay in getting on the highway um, with this car. Um, some other features, um, the lights are not automatic. You have to turn the lights on and off. So if you're coming from a vehicle, the Armada lights were automatic. So it took me a minute to remember, oh, I have to turn my lights on. So um, keep that in mind. And I'm glad the kids are talking so you guys can kind of hear um, how that works with you trying to talk, them talking and all of that. Uh, the stop ratio vehicle, I mean, I'm going to come to a stop. I mean, you can what? see it stops pretty quickly. Um, I don't ever feel like it takes a whole lot to stop it down or to slow it down or to stop it. It's not like uh, you're driving a train and it takes, you know, 10 miles to come to a complete stop. It stops relatively quickly. So I'm going 40 right now. I'm about to come up to a stoplight and I'm going to get as close to this stoplight as I can and then I'm going to um, stop so you guys can see kind of the so that was me stopping kind of fast um, you kind of if you could have saw the kids in the back I don't feel like they you know it wasn't any of this or any of that and we stopped pretty well so um the thing I love about the Nissan, I really feel safe in this vehicle. I am high off the road. I'm usually higher 
than any other car on the road, you know, except for a semi truck, of course. But I'm really close to those semi trucks too, so uh, I feel safe. You know, I feel like if somebody hits me, uh, sorry for them, happy for myself. It's kind of how I feel. Um, the rollover rate, I believe, was not that great because it is a high vehicle. But I think, and I don't know, you guys might want to look up and do more research, but from the research I've read, um, it's going to take a pretty massive capacity to knock this thing over. So, again, safety is pretty good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get on the highway so you guys can kind of see let me just make note of this. If you're short and this car is comfortable, there's no armrest. You have this big, you know, the compartment I was telling you to put your arm on, which is nice. Um, but if you are short, the seat belt, which comes out here, it, it's constantly up here on my neck because I am short. I have raised the seat because you can raise the seat a little bit. And so I'm going to raise it up some more. Maybe I wasn't raised to my max. <laughs> capacity. I mean, I'm not comfortable like this, but maybe this is how it's supposed to be. So the seatbelt um, wouldn't be... I know the seatbelt is usually like on my neck collarbone and I hate it, so I'm like constantly doing this. Um, but now that I've raised my seat, guys, I've had this truck for a, over a year and I never had my seat <laughs> this high. I mean, it's, now I'm like super high. So anyway, I'm drive like this for a little while. Anyway, the mirrors are uh, really large. You have a blind spot mirror, uh, which I use that one quite frequently because, again, you, you cannot see out of your rear view mirror. What you guys are seeing is what I see out of my rear view mirror. Kids. I see kids. So my oldest um, that's home, I'm sure she is pretty used to looking up and I'm looking at her in the mirror and she probably thinks I'm staring at her but really I'm trying to see out of my rear view mirror but I just see her lovely face looking at me so I mean it's really pointless trying to use that that mirror man y'all lifting my has really helped with the drive so yeah so let me see if I can go up any higher I think I can <laughs> Like, for real. I'm not sure how high I can kind of play on my seat adjustments now. But yeah, I mean, you can get, you can lift your seat up. And now I can actually see over the, um, the dash. Like, I haven't, I really never did this. So, y'all are learning or seeing this first time. Because remember, I talked about how this part is really high. So now that I've lifted my seat, I, I really feel like I can see up more, you know, usually when I, before the way I ride, I would be like this when I'm like parking and stuff like this. But I think now that I've raised my seat up, I'm going to keep going as high as I can. <laughs> Just for crap. Now that's, this is as high as I can go. So now that I'm up high. I hope y'all can see how I adjusted myself. I really can see like my entire hood. Now I really feel high. Which is great because I personally like being high up off the ground. Like I am like all about being up high. So I'm at 60 now. I mean I didn't hit the gas. I didn't literally punch it. But as you can see, it didn't take long for me to get up to that, that 60 mark. I mean, I'm, I, I was no lag, no um, drag or anything like that. So let's just listen up for the wind noise in here. airbags on the side three uh, airbags on each side so let me see if I can get some music <laughs> 
I need a glass of water. Why you, why you you know that? Let me wipe it. I'm going to hang down to the end of Just park in the back. It makes it a lot easier. 
So if you're the type of person that always needs to park up front and get a close parking spot, this vehicle is probably not going to be for you because you're probably more than likely always going to have to park in the back. Alright, so give me a minute. I am going to show y'all how Thank long you. it takes us to unload and I'll be back. All right, so they are going to get out the car. Y'all can see. So we have my oldest. She's hunched over, trying to get out. Y'all, it's cold outside. And then they don't have any coats. Yeah, I can't determine if it's winter or summer. Oh my goodness, Charlie. Charlie, don't worry. We will not some of them have coats. Where's her jacket? She at least had a jacket, I know. In the front seat. So y'all can see. I mean, Jordan, didn't Daddy say don't come out the house with the coat with that coat? Yeah. Mommy said that we were fine. You better be lucky. I said, yeah, I said you were fine. I didn't know I was going to get out. All right, so that is us getting out of this bad boy. And we're gonna run inside Next Target really fast so that really? everybody's not freezing. I just wanna show you guys the trunk space since I went in the Target. So this worked out. So I went in the Target and I bought, I got four bags and this is what's left in the trunk. So as you can see, I mean, I can push, you know, stuff under the seats or whatever and kind of give me a little more space but relatively zero trunk space so there you go so i am going to head home we did a target run and um now we're heading back home was that you It does not feel like you're in a minivan at all. And so because, again, I, you know, as I said earlier, I was over the minivan phase. And so this was a nice kind of transition for me from the Armada, you know, back into what is classified as a van. But it feels like a truck. So um, it, it really does ride like a truck. And I enjoy driving this car again, or this trend. Um, I really do enjoy driving it. So to bring it all together, the pros to this um, Nissan NV is that you're getting a 12 passenger. The seats all come out so you can haul things if you need to. Um, you can take, if you don't need 12 seats, throw out and have a huge trunk space while still being able to transport, you know, eight people. So um, that it's nice about it. I like that you can do different seat configurations even though I have not seen 300. Um, you can you do have some flexibility and options. So that's a pro. The V8 engine is nice if you're a person that likes power if you're going to be pulling a boat or RV, if you're going to be going up in the mountains um, having a V8 engine definitely is nice to have um, again that we'll get to that in a minute but that does doesn't help with gas but um so having that va engine is nice um if you get the sl model having the leather seats is nice for kids so you don't have to worry as much about spills um it would have been nice if they would have made this a um uh, 
don't know if you would have had an ethanol uh, E87, I think it is, option to be able to put in here, or just some other type of energy gas efficient option. So it is a gas guzzler. But again, I stand my little 10 mile radius, so that doesn't bother me as much. Um, other cons is stepping in and out. It would have been nice to have a floorboard for your kids to be able to get in easier. Um, it would have been nice to have voice control for the Bluetooth because I find myself never using the Bluetooth, never using the navigation. Just because if I have to be a part to put in an address, it's much easier for me to pull my phone out and just ask Siri or you know, ask Google to find it for me and they do it. So I'm still hands free. So that that definitely is a big kind of technology um, in this vehicle. Again, not having not having a mirror. It's a somewhat of a kind for a mother. You know, you want to be able to look at yourself in the mirror. Why aren't you and why, on why is she not buckled up? Buckle her up. She must have Mommy. Um I your seat though. This is what happens, guys. Luckily, I was only two minutes from home. Um, Here, bundle up your seatbelt first. Other cons is just having the latches only in the middle seats. It doesn't make putting car seats in as friendly uh, because you're kind of limited. Technically, you can put the car seats, otherwise, you'll have to use your seatbelt the old fashioned way, which is fine. Um, but that could be possibly a kind for some people. Uh, I think if you're a taller person, this vehicle uh, may present some chances. There's not a lot. My brother is uh, 6'1", and sometimes he'll drive it, and he's like literally, you know, in the, in the ceiling. And that was with my seat being lower when I first got in the car. So, um, you're not going to have a lot of headroom if you're a taller person. Again, if you have to have your seat all the way back, that's not going to leave any room for the person in the second row to have leg room if the driver's seat is further back. But again, still better leg room than the Armada and everything else. So, overall, I mean, the Envy is definitely a great family vehicle.